All right, guys, it's Memorial Day weekend, and we are back in the Mecca, and we have a very special beat Bill Bob Rosa with a very special guest today, Josh Wade. Biggie, what do you think about that? I am really, really happy to have Josh on the show. I've wanted to have him on the show for a very long time. As everybody knows, Josh is my brother on Team All Max. Boom. <laughs> Uh, you know he's been he's been rising up through the ranks. He's been his place has been going higher and higher. We met a couple of years ago, and uh, he's just a great guy, great competitor. And I, like I said, I wanted him on the on the show for so long. He's doing the Cal this weekend, so it was the perfect opportunity to have him come to Golds and do a little bit of training. So yeah, I couldn't be happier than to have Josh on the show. Hi, right, Josh. You did the Cal last year. Four plays did very well in a very tough lineup. Just came back from New York. Not happy with the decision. Showed up the best you've ever been. Show up today even better. And you're pissed. Today you want revenge. <laughs> well, right? you know, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm never gonna, never gonna be negative. I'm never gonna be derogatory. Never gonna talk shit. You know, I have a short-term memory. That's what we have to have in the sport. Um, all I know is I'm even more improved than last week. Uh, I'm gonna come in fuller. I get drier. This is this is the thing about my body type, guys. When I get lean. I get leaner every day. I'm better. I'm harder. I'm drier, and that's where I'm at. This week is going to be significantly better than last week. I'm harder. That grainy I'm going to be look. Fuller. People are always talking about grainy look you have. Oh, grainy. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm grainy, and now I'm basically dry without trying, dude. Wow. So it's it's going to be a great showing. I know it's going to be my best placing ever, and I'm not going to be cocky, but I know I put in the effort. And I know, I really believe that I'm going to be rewarded here on the West Coast for the conditioning that I bring that's just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've been wanting to come on the show for a while. We tried to do it before, it hasn't panned out. We're so glad to have you today. And obviously, you've made tremendous improvement in your physique over last year. What, what are some of the things that you'd like to show you today just to kind of bring back home and just even refine your physique even more? Well, everybody knows, and take a look at this, Dave. I have long arms for five foot nine individual. I have very long arms. It's been one thing that I've been critiqued and knocked on is the length, well, the size of my arms due to the length of my right. arms. So that's been my primary focus for three plus years, Dave. I mean, yep. it's not like it's just, it's not an overnight change on me. Yeah. And that's I've been working really, really, really hard on them. I've taken a lot of pointers that I've learned from Eric. One of the biggest things is controlling the eccentric portion. It's made a huge difference in the burn of the bicep, especially that related to soreness and has related to growth. So the, the control of the time under tension definitely is the most beneficial part for me, not the amount of weight, and especially that eccentric portion, Dave. Boom, all right, so today, Mernon's gonna give you a free trick. Not that it's gonna help for tomorrow because the job is done, you're ready to go, but the season's not over. We're hoping for our Olympic qualification. So there's a lot of time to be progress from now to September. Yes, sir. So there you go. We're gonna do some arms today, Merlin. We're gonna do some arms. Like you said, not gonna kill him just two days before the show. Just show him some pointers, give him a good pump, and head him into the show nice and hot, ready to go, ripped to the bone. So, so let's let's see what they look like before we start. <laughs> and then let's see what they look like pumped after. Josh, so glad to have you here. Jay's on his way in the plane right now, and he said, Tell Josh, I can't wait to see him. Thank you for doing the show with us and uh, you'll see him this weekend, hopefully, in the Winter Circle. Okay, we've got to see it before and after. Ready? All right, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, we got the before. Okay. okay, guys, so the first exercise we have uh, Josh doing today is kind of like a low cable spider curl using a straight bar. He's leaning in on an incline bench uh, set to about 45, 50 degrees. This movement is great for working the biceps and the brachialis, which lies underneath the biceps, because it pulls the arms away from the body. So when the elbows away from the body, engages much more brachialis. The tempo he's using is about 3-1-1, which is just a general tempo for us. Three seconds negative, one second positive, one second hold at the top. This is an excellent movement for peaking the biceps. We're not looking to kill it today. He's got two days before the show, so we're just getting a big pump. You guys can see here, that's the brachialis. Okay guys, so the next movement that we're doing here is an incline dumbbell curl. And what he's doing, if you can see his hands, is I have him grabbing the dumbbell all the way to the inside plate. So this forces the dumbbell to tip outwards a little bit more. 
So we're focusing our efforts on the inner head of the bicep. The first exercise was working more on the outer head and the brachialis. Now we're working on the inner head. He's trying to turn his elbows, his forearms outward just a little bit at the top so that even further contracts the inner head. Again, he's using a cadence of about two to three seconds on the way down. Coming up controlled in about one second and he's holding at the top for about one second, which again is basically our general cadence that we use, our general tempo that we use most of the time when we're not looking to hold any specific areas. So he looks great in that, that shot right there. Hey, what do you got in there? Is that the secret? This is the secret. This is what I call my hope juice, Dave. <laughs> my hope juice. I have 100 grams of Carb Ion, All Max Nutrition's carb product. 100 grams, even two days before the show. 100 grams of carbs intra. I have the Impact Pump. Impact Pump's a stem-free pre-workout, but I use it intra because it gives me an extra six grams of citrulline. I also always have my, my five, grams of, five grams of creatine, 10 grams of glutamine. So I have my essentials, plus I have 10 grams, sorry, two scoops, which is 16 grams of the amino core, the branch chain amino acids. I'm a huge pineapple mango fan, and this is my intra cocktail. It tastes amazing. You're loaded. Uh, get that pump. <laughs> okay, guys, so the last movement that we're doing here, I love this one to isolate the biceps. It's uh, sort of like doing a single arm front double bicep shot. What he's doing is he's sitting on the bench, he's leaning away from the working arm just a little bit. He's keeping the upper arm a little higher than parallel to the floor so he can get that good squeeze at the top. Again, he's using that same cadence of about 3-1-1 and he's shooting somewhere between 10 and 12 reps is what he likes to do a couple of days before a show so as to not burn off too much glycogen or overtax the muscles. So he's just really just going for a really, really good pump and a good squeeze just to move some nutrients around and make sure that he's peaked out for contest day. All right. Let's show those arms after biceps. <laughs> How do you feel? Jeez. Biceps are already pumped. That's just post biceps only. Now we're going to go hit some triceps and we'll do a final shot at the end. See how much expansion we've got. Boom. Okay, okay guys, so now we're moving into triceps. First movement that we're doing is kind of a unique movement. I call these actually tricep push outs. They're sort of like a hybrid movement between an extension and a push down. We're using a rope uh, today so he can get a better squeeze. So as you can see, he's locking his elbows pretty much right into his sides. He's coming to the top at a dead stop, keeping his elbows locked into his sides. He's then muscling down to full extension and getting that real good squeeze in the triceps at the bottom. It's a great movement for overall tricep mass. But today we're just really using it really just to give him a really, really good pump, a good feeling in the tricep. And again, we're using that general cadence of about three seconds on the way up, one second hold at the top, one second on the way down, and one second squeeze at the bottom. Excellent movement for triceps. You can see how well they're popping out now. Okay guys, so the next movement that we're doing is a single arm cable extension. We have the cable set to just above shoulder height. It's very important that you see how he's setting his arm here. He's got his arms in a position so that he can get a full stretch at the top of the movement, but not engage the shoulder at all. So basically all he's doing is using the elbow to flex and get that squeeze. There's no shoulder involvement, there's no momentum and he's able to work with a cable and actually have tension both at the stretch portion and at the squeeze portion, which we really want today. It's great for growth, but it's also great for getting an awesome pump and getting that good feeling in the tricep. Okay, so the last exercise that we're doing today, we're sticking with cables. Again, this is not a growth workout, this is just a pump workout. So we're doing uh, a cable overhead extension, single arm at a time, like you would do with a dumbbell. The advantage of the cable, of course, is that we have tension both at the bottom and the top of the movement. He's able to really, really squeeze and push the tricep out hard at the top of the movement. He's keeping the elbow close to the head. This works the long head of the triceps mostly, 
which is the part that gives the most mass. And as you can see, again, control it on the way down, holding the stretch for a second, pushing it up in one second, and holding the squeeze for a second. Major pump in the triceps right here. And he's like granite. All right, All right guys, this is post-arm pump built by Eric Rozier. <laughs> well, I won't say built by me, <laughs> but the program today. built by Eric Rozier. But anyways, this it's all is about Josh. Post bicep and tricep now, guys. See if we can see the difference. I feel major expansion. Biceps, <laughs> triceps, pumped, full. Feel absolutely nasty. <laughs> That's some meat, dude. Nice. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. All right, we're at. The, we're gonna let Josh go because his family's here. He's gotta go back to the hotel. Josh, thank you so much for coming today, man. We My waited pleasure. a long time to have you on the show. It was a pleasure to have you eat. You got anything to say, man? I got a lot to say, but I'm gonna <laughs> make it short. Keep it short. I'm gonna keep it short. Unlike, unlike my explanations for exercises. <clears throat> yeah, it was an absolute pleasure just working with Josh today, even though I just got to work with him a little bit. Uh, I'm hoping that one of these days he can come back soon for an off-season workout where we can really kill it together. But yeah, he looks amazing. I'm so proud of him. My old Matt's brother here. Uh, I think he's going to you know, do amazing at this show. I don't want to make any predictions except he's going to win. And <laughs> um, That's it. That's pretty much all I got to say. So it's gonna be a great show Saturday. Josh, I really appreciate you coming down. This guy is, is one of the hardest working people in bodybuilding without a doubt. He's also a gentleman, family man. He's just a great ambassador of the sport for all Max and bodybuilding in general. And an absolute pleasure having him on the show and I can't wait to have him again. Josh, any last word, any thank you people you wanna thank? You know, I want to thank everybody out there. I've been, it's amazing the support that I've got, the recognition over the last couple years. And everybody knows me as the blue collar bodybuilder, the family man. Um, and that means the world, the difference to me. When I get those, I'm an inspiration, I'm a motivation. You know, for the older guys, I, I turned pro as a master's competitor and I made the Open Olympia the first time. The first person that's ever done that. But uh, I mean, I got to give a huge shout out to my wife, Shannon Wade, and my kids are here. It's going to mean the world to me, Dave. I put everything into this. I am coming hard to get my first win at the California State Championships in front of my family. Best condition I've ever brought. Been working on my waist, tightened my waist, brought up my arms. Every weakness they've talked about, I've improved upon. And I'm not done yet, Dave, but this is the beginning. I feel a win coming, and I am super excited to do it in front of my family and everybody out there that supported me. Thank you very much. Oh, dude, you give me goosebumps. <laughs> and the good thing is that, you know what? Everyone's in town for this show. Jim Mannion's in town for this show. Jay's in town for this show. All the pros doing the Olympia. I think you're going to have a lot of support. And I think a lot of people are going to be watching out for you. Because most likely, they will see you on the Olympia stage. That's what we hope. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks so much, you guys.